Now we have to talk about Verizon. It's the parent company of Yahoo Finance. Reported its earnings, beat expectations. It also added 451,000 cell phone subscribers in the quarter. Our own Scott Gam sat down with the company's CEO, Hans Vestberg, earlier this morning. Scott, what did he say, especially about 5G? Because that's all everyone wants to talk about right now is 5G. It's true. And, you know, Verizon plans to have 5G in 30 cities. This year, they're already in nine cities. And this week, they added an additional four cities. So Verizon was first to offer 5G mobile service back in April. The rollout continues. And I also asked Hans Vestberg about 5G-ready devices, because we talk a lot about the network, but what about the devices? Here's what he had to say. I think, first of all, we have four devices out. We have three smartphones and one MiFi in Seago that we just uh, launched. Uh, when we look into next year, basically all phones, smartphones that we're going to launch is going to be 5G enabled. Uh, when it comes to Apple, I think they need to answer that question. But we're going to see a lot of uh, phones coming out way before that in the market. And as we are building the network, uh, that benefit will be there. And some of the five or all of the 5G phones that we have today in the range there are also great 4G phones. So ultimately, you want an experience for your customers. You, they want the best network wherever they are. They want to enjoy uh, the technology and, and doing new things. That's the most important. So when it comes to Apple, I think that's the big question. When are mm. Apple 5G phones going to be ready? We have seen some analyst reports hinting that perhaps it's next year. Tim Cook actually was asked about that on the earnings call the other day, on the Apple earnings call. Yeah. He didn't address it no. specifically. He didn't give us the answer we wanted to hear. Um, but look, they settled their Qualcomm dispute mm -hmm. a few months ago. That's an endorsement of 5G. And just back to Verizon, they're spending upwards of $18 billion on their network this year. And when you say that uh, Verizon has already launched 5G in a number of places, are, are those states here in the U.S.? Because I think for the most part, we don't, I mean, I haven't yet seen it, had it, used it, heard much from people saying, oh, my God, I got 5G, it's so lightning fast. And the expectations are so high. Yeah, they're, they're in several cities, okay. nine cities in the U.S. right now, 30 by the end of the year, Washington, D.C. it's in right now, Chicago, Providence, Minneapolis. So okay. it's, it's it making the rounds. It has begun. Okay. Gotcha. Check it out. Yeah, wow. Faster speed. That's the key. Uh, yeah, it has been hyped to the point where the expectations are very high. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and so many different companies, whether it's you know, the companies that make the rails, telecom, AI. Uh, the makers of the phones. Yes, everyone is saying, oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be involved in 5G. We're in the 5G race. It's like, well, they can't all be winners in this, in this race. And 5G at the center of the proposed Sprint T-Mobile deal, which we also talked about with Hans, and we'll air that later throughout Yahoo Finance. Awesome. So stick to yahoofinance.com today for more from Hans Vesberg. Scott, thanks so much. Thank you, guys.